We are back to talk about the last four episodes of Stranger Things. And the lump is finally out of our throats after we thought we lost our favorite little shaved head. <laughs> we last left off in episode four, which is where we see them recover the uh, Will's body in the quarry. And uh, we don't really know if he's actually gone or not. They didn't try to make us believe it too hard, but at the same time, it was possible. We had really no idea. And at the very end of the, the fourth episode, we do see our, uh, our hero, State Trooper, uh, break into the morgue, slice open the body, and find out it's just a dummy. I go back and forth on whether I like them, though. He's one of those, like, very dislikable heroes. <laughs> He's kind of a, uh, a Hemingway type. Yeah? He's a hard-drinking, just man's man, living in a trailer but missing his daughter, so he's got yes. a soft spot. Episode five is a very exciting kickoff to the second half of their story. At this point, the boys still know that Will is alive. The mom still has an idea that Will is alive. Finally, we know when the brother and the older sister decide that if there's something going on, that there's something else. Yeah, it was neat seeing those characters get more involved in the story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, uh, the older sister gets really into the story as she gets well, she sees the deer in the woods and scary moment as it gets ripped away. That's at the end of episode five. Oh, so cool. And she herself follows the blood trail and ends up uh, finding herself in, well, what we decide, what we learn in episode five is the upside down. There's lots of awesome multi-dimensional chit chat yeah. in this episode. Did this, this rift in space time that was created apparently by some huge uh, outpouring of energy uh, was this done accidentally or intentionally by the government? Uh, Elle seems to feel like it's entirely her fault. She does, yeah. She internalizes. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like it actually is. They obviously are not, you know, I, I wasn't sure if at one point they were trying to harvest these monsters to be soldiers oh, or something. Oh, yes. But nothing like that. They're obviously not in control of anything uh, yeah, <laughs> when it comes they, down to it. They, it seems like Elle touched upon this monster at one point and the government was like, well, let's go find it. Like, that's a good idea. Yeah. But, I mean, these kind of things, these questions come up all the time in real-life science. When when they were looking for the Higgs boson, they didn't know, people didn't know, are we going to open up a black hole on Earth and just destroy the entire planet when it happens? So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, but, I mean, so I, I think, I gotta imagine that's where a lot of these concepts come yeah. from. Yeah. Is the, the real-life uh, physical particle projects we're working on. What might we unleash unwittingly? We see some remote viewing in action uh, that, that Elle does as she goes and spies on a Russian spy. Which is so cool. Remote viewing is kind of terrifying and awesome and I wish I could do that. Could you imagine, like, they just hand you a picture and they're like, somewhere in the world is this person. Go find them and tell me what they're saying. It's like very specific astral projection. Yeah. You know, out-of-body experiences. Like, all of this stuff is in the same realm. Uh, except, you know, the U.S. government and probably other governments were definitely trying to harness this psychic ability. And, uh, I mean, what a, what a great safe way to be a spy. Yeah. Like, you could just hang out at home <laughs> and phone it in. The device that we use in paranormal investigation, maybe not commonly, but not uncommonly like either, once in a while. which is a compass. Uh, they decide, uh, after a discussion with their awesomely nerdy ma uh, science and oh radio I wish he got to teacher, be in the series more, because he's kind of amazing. There's there's plenty of room for him next time. Yes. And hopefully he's he's definitely back and plays a bigger role. Uh, but they decide that if, well, we believe now that this is an interdimensional thing, that uh, uh, tear happened in the fabric of space-time, that you know, it's going to disturb the electromagnetic fields, which is what compasses use to point north. Mm. So these compasses now won't just be pointing north, they'll be pointing towards the source of this rift. Uh, which is great. We Again, we have used uh, compasses in paranormal investigations. And, uh, you know, very famously, uh, site near the Manson murders, the, the Tate uh, Polanski residence. Uh, we were in a home near there where the... The, they were just going nuts. I mean, just like slowly spun around. <laughs> they would they would sometimes find an area in the room we were in and just kind of keep pointing to that one area no matter where we were. Uh, sometimes you'd hold them still and they just would kind of be searching like they're looking for north but not finding it. I'm trying to remember what other revelations uh, come up in that. That L really 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 likes egos. 
Yes, do not get between a woman and her waffles. She is a young Leslie Nope. <laughs> And, uh... <laughs> I love that even, like, in the very end, when, um, Mike is trying to, like, make her all these promises and, like, trying to get her to, like, fight and stay there, she's like, will there be egos? Ooh, and he's like, there, what? There's I've real been, dinner, too. Yeah, he's like, better food than egos. <laughs> yeah. That's all she wants. Final episode, the big showdown, is not a disappointment. No. It is so awesome. Uh, we see Especially kind of like two whole episodes that are this final. Yeah, it, it, there's definitely a, the eighth ep the seventh episode is a big build up. All the plans are coming together. It's surprising that the first time Hopper and Joe, Hopper showing up and sneaking around, he actually gets pretty far into yeah. the lab before getting caught. And the next time, obviously, they get caught as soon as they walk through the gate that somehow isn't electrified. Which was <laughs> that his plan the whole time, though? Who knows? I mean, that guy is not. I don't think he's. He's more uh, uh, brawn than strategy, yeah. I think. I don't know. He's he a smart no, dude, but still. But then he had no problem selling Elle up River. He was like, y'all can have her. Just let me go in and try to save this one fucking kid. Yeah, well, he's. I think he's also, at that point, looking, hoping that his daughter... Well, we think, as, as the audience, we, we're not sure really what's going on with his daughter at a certain point. Yeah. And, um, and might she be on the other side? But we find out no, but he just knows what it's like to lose a child. And yeah. so that's why he's so, you know, his heart is behind Joyce so strongly, which is pretty cool. Enough to sell it another kid. Yes. I still have a free one. Yeah. <laughs> Joyce and Hopper go to the other side. Meanwhile, Nancy and Jonathan are at the house, staking out the monster, trying to trap him, uh, trap it, and draw it out. Yeah, putting together, like, the world's most deadly Rube Goldberg machine. Yes. A bear trap that's connected to a yo-yo, so we'll know if he gets trapped and then we'll light set it all the... on fire lots of great scenes but I, I really love when when you know we get Winona's writer's character Joyce and, and the sheriff walking through the house they are now the ones triggering the lights yes, to turn that on. Yes, so cool. Getting us mortals on that side and, and you know we're doing like uh, Nicole Kidman and the others and yes. we're haunting this plane of existence. We see Elle be the biggest badass Ever! Possible. Ever! The boys and Elle are surrounded by soldiers and government bad guys. And uh, what can possibly she do? She can't just break them one arm at a time. No. Instead, she squishes their brains. I haven't seen anything that cool since, like, River in Serenity when she takes out all the Reavers. And she's sure. like, what? Hey, here we go. <laughs> How we do, yo? It's the same kind of like, okay, that's not the character you thought would do that. Yeah, it is intense. Blood <laughs> yeah. coming from the eyes and yeah. other places. Probably lots of other places. Well, probably lots and lots of other it's places. It's suddenly down. And then, however, the, the monster's here. Elle pins it to the wall using all of her magical energy, which is killing her because she's expounding all she's got. And then the two of them both poof. And we don't exactly know what happens. There's like a pile of ash left behind. We yeah. just kind of think that she's incinerated both of them. Uh, which is like, it's devastating. It is. I was, I was like <laughs> near tears. I was like, what? Yeah. And it's for a while as the kids are coming to terms with that the fact that Elle is so lost. That feels so bad and... for Mike. He was heartbroken. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's right he after was... he had the most awkward kiss. It was like the most awkward. And asked her to a dance. It was it's so, so adorable. cute. And she was so excited about it. Yeah. But I love that just like, like, oh. And my sister can be like your sister, and you'll be like my brother. No, no, no. <laughs> it was so cute. That was the, so well acted, so well written. It was so well done. <laughs> oh man, that's we're not talking about anything paranormal there, but no. that was just adorable. It was just too cute. <laughs> We've already heard that the show is going to get a second season. It felt like is this going to be like American Horror Story, where we're going to come yeah. back with brand new characters, brand new scenario, because um, there's no loose ends at this moment. Until. And then the last 30 seconds is Well, like even before then, I like that, entirely. that Hopper leaves the uh, hospital and there's a car waiting for yeah. him. Yeah. And he's kind of hesitant. He takes another drag out of a cigarette and he gets in. And the camera pans up to the stars. And I really thought we were going to hear a gunshot. Mm, like yeah. that was going to be the end of it for him. But no. Uh, it just drives off. We don't know what's going on. I got, I got the impression that there was another part of the deal that he. I could see that. Back. We do get to see some more awesome Dungeons and Dragons action. Which I'm always a fan of. Oh gosh, they're so fun to watch. I they should be. There should be an episode of Tabletop that's them playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, please. Will Wheaton, listen up. And if not Will Wheaton, Dan Harmon, 
give them a uh, meltdown Somebody. and let them yes. do an episode. That would so, be so awesome. I would love to have Will Wheaton and the other kids from Stand By Me play a game of Dungeons and Dragons with the kids from Stranger Things. So no, that'd be Will neat. Wheaton is obviously never going to grow out of that, and yeah. I feel like these kids have a very similar kind of story. Oh man, that'd be epic. <laughs> yeah. A Kickstarter think, will work yes. it out, yeah. <laughs> Somebody figure that out for me. I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Will, do me this favor. You were my first crush. Don't let me down. And then, of course, Will just can't be safe and happy. Good God, poor <laughs> Will. Blah. And then he looks up and all around him. Yeah, it's, uh, so he's not out of the woods. He yeah. is, he's still a host to some parasites, it seems. Uh, big parasites that you... Let's all hope it's not a chest burst. Oh, not only that, but we see Hopper again, which I kind of wish we didn't see him again. I like the mystery of what him driving him? off. But we do see him at his... Uh, uh, the, like holiday Christmas party. Yeah, the Christmas party. He's taking some food home, but he's not actually taking it home. He's taking it to a box in the woods uh, that also features Eggo waffles. Yes. We want to hear from you. Did you have any wild theories that are still maybe in play? Or things that you wanted to ex explain that we didn't go over. This show is so full of paranormal themes, whether it's government conspiracies, the MK Ultra Project, remote viewing, uh, multi-dimensions, all this stuff. What paranormal themes would you like to see in the next season of Stranger Things? Or Dungeons and Dragons. That's all I need. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at What's Your Ghost Story. Twitter, what's your ghost? Check us out on the Facebook, on all of the things. We're super easy to find. So please, join us in our community. 